Okay guys, this is Dark Knight Studios coming at you with another video. This will be my week six NFL predictions, as long as these games happen. Let's start off. Kansas City Chiefs, 4-1, just suffered their first loss to the Las Vegas Raiders at home. Facing the Buffalo Bills, who just lost their first game, got their butts kicked by the Tennessee Titans Tuesday night, 42-16. to um, Unfortunately, I see the Buffalo Bills losing their second straight game, dropping to 3-2, and two, and giving Kansas City the win, getting to 4-1, and one, I believe, or 5-1. and one. Then we have a game that was moved from last week to this weekend, the Denver Broncos visiting the New England Patriots. Cam Newton should be back for the Patriots, giving the Patriots by 10, 27, 17. And going back, I got the Chiefs 31, 23. Next, we got the 1 and 4 Houston Texans visiting the 4 and 0 Tennessee Titans. Give me the Titans by 6, 23, 17. Then we had the Baltimore Ravens versus the pitiful Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, give me the Ravens 31 23. Then we have the winless 0-5 Atlanta Falcons, who just fired their head coach and general manager, visiting the 1-4 Minnesota Vikings. Uh, give me the Vikings getting their second win of the season after just barely losing to the Seahawks in Seattle last week. The Vikings had that game won, had they went for a field goal instead of going for it on fourth down. They would have been up 29-21 and would have probably won the game. But give me the Vikings 31-27, dropping the Falcons to 0-6. Next, we have a game that's going to be a great game. We have the 4-1 Cleveland Browns, winners of four straight, facing off against the 4-0 Pittsburgh Steelers. This game can go back and forth, but I have a Steelers 38-31 shootout. Next, we have the Cincinnati Bengals visiting the Indianapolis Colts, who just lost to the Browns. Give me the Colts by a touchdown, 20 to 13. Then we have the Detroit Lions visiting the Jacksonville Jaguars. Give me the Lions, 27 23. Then we have, I think it's going to be a much better game than people think. The 4 1 Chicago Bears visiting, I think, the 2 and 3 or 3 and 2 Carolina Panthers, who have been playing pretty well with Teddy Bridgewater and Mike Davis at running back. But give me the Bears by a touchdown, 26 19. Then we have a tough game. It's the uh, the one and four Washington football team against the winless zero and five Giants, New York Giants. Give me the New York Giants getting their first win of the season, thirty to twenty seven. Then we have another winless, the winless New York football Jets, just like the Giants, visiting the two and three Miami Dolphins. The Jets, I think, could win this game. I think they could. But give me the Dolphins 27-17. Dropping the Jets to 0-6. As I think they'll probably be battling the Giants and Falcons for the number one pick. I'm going to go Jets get the first pick. Giants 2, Falcons 3. Next we have what's probably going to be a really great game. The 4-0 Green Bay Packers coming off a bye. Visiting the 3-1 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I believe... Oh, the three and two Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this one's tough. You got Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. It's in Tampa Bay, as they call it. But you know what? Give me the Packers. Yes, as you can see, Packers fan, but that's not why I'm picking them. I just got to have a feeling about the Packers this year. I said before the season began, Aaron Rodgers was going to beast it out. He was going to be a beast. What's happened? He has been a beast. Hasn't even thrown a single interception yet. Yes, I think this game can go either way, but give me the Packers by a point, 31-30. to 30. Next, we have the Los Angeles Rams at the San Francisco 49ers. If the 49ers didn't have all these injuries, I would easily pick them. But Jimmy G's Garoppolo is a little banged up. Richard Sherman, I think, is still out. Joey Bosa and Solomon Thomas both out for the season with torn ACLs. Um... I'm taking the Rams on the road, 
And finally, we have the Arizona Cardinals at the Dallas Cowboys. If Dak Prescott, you know, praying for you, Dak. I hate that he suffered such a bad injury. I just feel so bad for him and heartbroken for him. And if he were the starting quarterback, I would give it to the Cowboys. But unfortunately, he's not. He's done for the season. Snapped his ankle basically in half. Give me the Arizona Cardinals by 4, 24-20. That's my picks. That's my predictions. That's the scores. And to update you, because I don't go like with against the spread and all that stuff. Um, on the season, I stand at a record of 52-24 and one tie. So that's pretty good. Probably 60, 70 something percent maybe. So, yeah, that's my picks for this week. This is Start My Studio signing off, saying I'll catch you next time.